Hi guys, my name is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Here we talk about my life experiences in the areas of faith, personal finance, and lifestyle. If that's something that you would be interested in, please click on the subscribe button and follow along with my little life odyssey. So I would like to kick off this video today with some great news. For those who don't know, I am going on maternity leave in a month's time. And that's an unpaid maternity leave, so I have been stressing about it um, over the past couple of weeks. But God is truly amazing. Just this week, I had a conversation with my employer. Out of his generous heart, um, he gave me the option to bring my salary forward to assist with our expenses while I am on maternity leave. It's not very common for that to happen, so I was really moved when um, he gave me that option well it's kind of like a loan because i need to pay it back once i get back to work but there's no interest involved so that is still a pretty great deal if you ask me it won't be a lot so it's just like about a few hundred bucks every fortnight it's not gonna completely cover all my lost income we still need to tighten our budget but I do trust God to provide for all our needs. Um, you know, just like what he did in Matthew 14, when he multiplied the five loaves of bread and two fish from that young boy just to feed the 5,000, or how he provided the manna and the quail for his people in Exodus, I believe that God will also have provision for us on the daily while I'm not working. And we also have received some presents from friends and families like clothes for a baby girl, um, capsule for the, the capsule that you use for the car i didn't know anything about that and um, my father-in-law is also helping us get a pram so we don't really need to buy a lot of stuff for our baby now because it's like everything has been provided so um yeah god has been really good with us this past couple of weeks well he's been really good since ever since i can remember but he's been truly faithful in providing for our needs now we're talking about pregnancy i am 30 weeks pregnant as i recording this video and everything has been going very smoothly until i took that glucose tolerance test a few weeks ago so it came out as me having gestational diabetes so that's where i'm at now i have to monitor my glucose first thing in the morning when i wake up and two hours after every meal not to worry about it though because they told me it will go away once the baby is born so i just have to make sure i eat proper food and do the right things while i am pregnant to make sure that my baby is gonna grow well in my belly so we, we made a few changes on our diets like we change white rice to brown rice um, we also change our white bread to wholemeal and some grains we have added more vegetables and meat to our diet my numbers have been looking really good except for two nights when we had tacos i didn't know that tortillas have a very high glycemic index very high carbohydrates so my glucose level just shoot up like through the roof after after eating that so i have two nights where i went over the glucose um, normal level but that's it everything else it's perfect i just also want to quickly mention my future plans i was actually planning to take on a finance course while i am on maternity leave because that's gonna help me with increasing my salary when i get back to work but because we are going to be financially restricted i don't have that option i think anymore so that's out of the window that actually kind of reminded me of proverbs 19 verse 21 which says many are the plans in the person's heart but it is the lord's purpose that prevails so it's probably not in line with god's plan for me to take that finance course so for now i'm looking to just focus on things that i can do on the immediate term and just let god take the wheel so in the area of finance i am planning to do i still have one month left um, before going on leave so i'm planning to do a no buy challenge during this month you know what i actually really thought that i was living frugally however when i went through my expenses in the past 12 months i saw where my money is really going into and then i saw how much i spend on food and in facebook marketplace so that is really something that i need to work on and i'm hoping to like save 
about 400 or 500 more but we'll find out at the end of this month to see how much i saved i am also looking for a church we moved to a different suburb so i need to find a church that's closer to where i live i just think it's more practical to be going to a church that's closer to where we are um, given the fact that i'm having a baby it will be easier to reach out to people to go to church if it's just around the area so i found one i'm going to say hi to them uh this coming sunday um i actually from what i gather the church is really good because they have small groups small groups it's actually a very big help to make sure that you are on track with your spiritual goals i just think it's very important based on my experience really another thing is there's also some social activities for the little ones so that's kids and toddlers you know how the world is going right now i want my baby to grow up in a christian environment and i want her beliefs to be founded in christianity um last but not the least i also want to put more efforts on my youtube channel i have been wanting to do this for a long time now and i told myself i will start being more um, dedicated with growing my youtube channel once we move out to start with i actually signed up for a course on how to do youtube properly so i'm expecting a lot from that course so i'm very excited and i'm looking forward for the changes and improvements that's going to happen in the next couple of months stay tuned um subscribe to my channel leave this video a like and let's grow together bye for now